What's up, guys? Welcome to episode number 48 of Diggity, a video game podcast. I'm Jeff James. As always with me is the incredible, the unobtainable, the luscious Brody Faults. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good, buddy. How about yourself? I would be doing greater if more people follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Diggity Podcast. Hey, you can start, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, username is Diggity Gaming. And subscribe to us, uh, the audio version of the podcast, on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to. Still not on Pandora. Pandora Watch, like week four. Way to go, Pandora. Get your shit together. Today's <laughs> podcast is brought to you by Audible. You can get a free audiobook download and three free, sorry, 30 day free trial at audibletrial.com slash diggity. That's D I G G I T Y. You can get access to over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, your Android, your Kindle, or your MP3 player. So head on over to audibletrial.com slash diggity for your free 30 day free trial and audiobook download. Get your readings on without having to read. Get your listens on. I don't know. <laughs> Do something. Um, jump right into the show. What the hell did you play this weekend, brother man? Uh, brother man. Well, we played. We played some Apex Legends. Hell yeah, we did. We we, played, we came so close. To first. We've gotten second mm, so many like, times. Uh, a handful of times. I don't want to toot our horn, but we come in like the top like ten, which is only the top half, but pretty. <laughs> Hey, hey, we come in the top 10, like, easily, like... Just about every time now. Just about every time now. We usually get to the top five, and then... No, we always play as a squad of three, though. So that that definitely probably makes it Yeah, yeah, we actually have the the three of us communicating. But uh, played some some Apex Legends, played a little bit of Rocket League, played a little bit of Overwatch, pretty much our, our mains there. And then I have now finally beat God of War. And it was not because I didn't want to beat God of War. It was because there's too much stuff that has come out lately that we have to play because we have responsibilities now. Congratulations. But I finally got into it on Saturday and couldn't put it down. Played it all the way through Saturday, all the way through Sunday. (sighs) You're so happy. I'm so happy. It was so good. That's great. Yeah. So good. I played uh, Civ Five on uh, starting... Friday night, Friday Friday evening, and then Saturday, no, Friday afternoon, because you and I were together Friday evening. Yes. That's right. Okay, so Friday afternoon, I played some Civ Five, and then Saturday, I played some Civ Five, and Sunday, I played some Civ Five. <laughs> so, it's been pretty good. Um, I mean, it's not a new game, but I just, yeah. I just got back into it. I loved it. I was telling Brody, I was having fun. Uh, I was Russian in this one, and I sent my spies to rig each election. <laughs> Of other countries, so <laughs> hey, topical. Oh, that hits so close to home. It does. It uh. really does. Um, yeah. On top of that, uh, yeah, like you said, Apex Legends, Rocket League, Overwatch. Uh, dipped a little bit into the Trials demo. Um, oh yeah, which I you forgot. dipped into that too, I as did. well. Trials Rising yeah. demo on Switch, mm-hmm. um, which is good. It was very it's good. A good Trials game. I think every Trials game is great. Yep. Honestly, it, it doesn't reinvent the wheel, but it's just another yep. great game. It's great on Switch. Loving it. Oh, Tetris ninety nine. Played yeah. a bunch of that, too. Well, yeah. You got number eight. I did. That's closest to me. I've only got, like, 13. Yeah, eight. I got number eight, and then the next four games, I never made it out of the 90s because I got targeted by, like, four people, and <laughs> half my screen would fill up before I could do it. You got destroyed. <laughs> I got destroyed. Let's Tetris 99 go, brother. All right, dude. What's uh, upcoming games coming up? So there's actually a lot this week. Hell yeah, there is. Uh, so Fe- <laughs> February 26th, the Dirt Rally 2.0 comes to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. The Lego Movie 2 video game uh, comes to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Uh, Near Automata, uh, Game of the Yora edition comes to PC, <laughs> PS4. I don't know if that was a typo on somebody's part. Yora. <laughs> Uh, Rad Rogers Radical Edition comes to Switch. Townsmen, a kingdom rebuilt, comes to PC. Trials Rising comes to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. On February 27th, we have Tech Support, Unknown Error, or Error Unknown, sorry, uh, coming to PC. February 28th, we have Ape Out coming yes. to PC and Switch. Constructor Plus coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Tekken 7, the Negan DLC comes to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And on March 1st, we have the Dark Souls Trilogy coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Awesome. Dead or Alive 6 coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, in Europe, the Lego Movie 2 video game is coming out for PC, PS4, Xbox, and Switch. So weird. Toe Jam and Earl, Back in the Groove, comes out on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. 
and treasure treasure stack p- comes to PC, Xbox One, and Switch. You made a Instagram post about the Toe Jam and Earl one, and apparently people don't like Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Uh, no, I did, I did. I, I thought it would be an interesting topic, hoping somebody would comment on it, and we got no love on that one. <laughs> <laughs> lessons nope. learned, lessons learned. <laughs> oh man, and there is one more note there too. Um, Resident Evil on that end too, yeah. Yeah, uh, so Resident Evil uh, Zero, HD, and Four have been officially announced that they are coming to the Nintendo Switch on May 21st. Heck yeah, you can pre-order those May uh, February 28th. Yes. You can pre-order those. Yes, so you can yeah. buy Resident Evil 4 again. For like again. the eighth time. No <laughs> way, man. Well, hey, the Division 2 open beta starts this weekend. Uh, the beta will run from March 1st through the 4th and will be available on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. The open beta will include three main missions, five side missions, PvP, and endgame content. The beta also contains a patch that was not available during the closed beta. The patch contains a huge amount of changes to the game that will absolutely make for an even better experience. Uh, so we'll be playing this this weekend for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely jump back into it and see if they fix some of the, the, sound the problems we had. Yeah, yeah, the sound issues mm-hmm. and, and a few other things like when my body was doing things that I was not doing. My body <laughs> is telling me no or yes. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so close. My mind's telling me no. Yours is telling you no? All no. Right. Uh, so Square Enix uh, announced the last idea last week. And you talked about it on the podcast. And we talked very about briefly. it on the podcast very briefly because nothing was known. And we speculated that it was going to be a mobile gotcha well, game. Not just speculated. Yeah, you we, joked. Yeah. We we it, joked. We, we joked it. about we it. We joked and, and we <laughs> lost. And uh, We so, all lost. <laughs> basically, this is a new mobile game. <laughs> it's a mobile game. We did it. Coming we, only to Japan on iOS and Android. You know what's sad? The only time our predictions are right is when we joke around with them. Yeah, when they're the, haha, wouldn't it be <laughs> awful if they wouldn't did this? Wouldn't that be just <laughs> ridiculous if they did this? Uh, but it is described as a treasure hunting RPG. Wow. Great. Um, I love it. <laughs> the game is slated for release in Japan only this spring uh, okay. with no news on whether it will be coming to other countries in the future. So, so why would that. they? Why would they do that? I don't know. Why would they do that? Why would they go through all that stuff and announce it like that? Because it's Square. That's what they do. <laughs> they just. I don't know, man. It, it's it's a a weird place to be, but um, it's a weird place. To I, be. I, I I got nothing, man. I, I we joked about it, thinking surely they wouldn't do this, and they they did, did it. Man. it. It's our last idea, bro. Yep. Hey, uh, Devotion is having some issues, apparently. So Devotion, a first-person horror game that has been in the news recently for a piece of art in their game that seems to mock Chinese President uh, Xi, uh, or Xi, Xi or Xi Jinping, Jinping, something like that. I <laughs> fucked And that now up. you've mocked him. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Uh, shortly after the art was discovered, the game started to be, re- to be review-bombed, as well as its predecessor, Detention. This brought about a quick apology from the company and removal of the game from Steam China and leading to a more in-depth apology being released on February 25th, and the game silently disappearing from the store entirely. Ooh. Uh, Red Candle, the developers behind the game, released this statement three hours after the removal of the game from Steam. They say, Due to technical issues that cause unexpected crashes, and among other reasons, we are pulling Devotion off from Steam Store to have another complete QA check. At the same time, we'd like to take this opportunity to ease the heightened pressure uh, in our community resulted from our previous art material incident. Our team would also review our game material once again, making sure no other unintended materials was inserted in. Hopefully, uh, this would help all audiences, or so hope help all audience to focus on the game itself again, again upon its return. Um, someone's got to rewrite that PR. It's not the smoothest PR that got written there because it was hard to read. I'll tell you that right now. Um, yeah, hey, don't fuck with Jinping, you know, or Jinping. <laughs> <laughs> President Xi Jinping or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it had something to do with depicting him looking like Winnie the Pooh. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. So it it I'm didn't. Sorry, that's it didn't awesome. go well. <laughs> uh, oh, he looked like Winnie the Pooh for and for three hours that after this game disappeared, nobody knew what the hell was going on until they resurfaced. So right. for all anybody knew, like the Chinese government just. Oh, made review, him disappear. Oh, the, the, the Chinese government probably review bombed this. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. Well, that that'd be where it'd be coming from. It wouldn't be just your average user, probably. But I I would think that this might have been slightly orchestrated. 
Um, but yeah, no, Man. this is a this is a messy one. And the weird thing was, this Winnie game was thing. was in the, I think it was the actual uh, top selling game on Steam. Uh, I think two or three days ago. So it definitely was doing well, and now it is not. How do you even? I'm, I'm gonna look up how we pronounce his name. Hold on. Oh boy. How to pronounce? Jeez, uh, Xi Jinping. It's gonna be terrible. I, I mean, it, it's it's gonna be. I, you know, it's. So Winnie the Pooh is how they made him sound. No, they made him. I think they made him look like it. Saying this Somehow. is not simple. It's not simple. That's what it said. Oh. The president's name is, oh boy, it's in Mandarin or Cantonese or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, man. Oh, here's a video <clears throat> on YouTube. So it's, it's legit and it's official. Let, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what the internet would tell me of how to pronounce Winnie Jinping. <laughs> God, why do you do this? Xi Jinping, Chinese. Oh, Xi Jinping. Okay. Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Or Xi Jin. Xi Jinping. Anyway. Now you know, guys. <laughs> Holy cow. Anyways, let's get on to the meat, man. Yeah. This podcast. So Reggie Fizeme is retiring. Which? Who would have thought this day would come That's anytime soon? By the way. Yes. Yeah, sorry. CEO. Uh, it, we'll get we'll get there. You just wait. Patience. Patience. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> After 15 years at Nintendo of America, 13 years of the or 13 of those years spent as the president and COO, uh, Reggie will be spending his last day at Nintendo on April 15th. Uh, Doug, oh, he was the president and COO. I thought he was yeah. president and CEO. I guess not. Uh, COO. I guess, okay, cool. So he's president yeah. of that. Okay, cool. Uh, Doug Bowser, the current senior vice president of sales and marketing, will be stepping in to take over as the new president of Nintendo of America. And uh, fils put out a statement saying, Nintendo owns part of my heart forever. It's a part that is filled with gratitude for the incredibly talented people I've worked with. For the opportunity to represent such a wonderful brand, and most of all, to feel like a member of the world's most positive and enduring gamer community. As I look forward to departing in both good health and in good humor, this is not a game over for me, but instead leveling up to more time with my wife, family, and friends, which is the most Reggie thing he could have possibly said. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the corny uh, game over and leveling up, but that's exactly why he's so well-beloved. Yeah, he's 57 years old. Yeah, which is, I mean, that's an early retirement. Good for him. Good for him, absolutely. Hey, man, I mean, you think about his career, and mm -hmm. it was we... Um, was it GameCube? I mean, he worked. He it worked was in the game, GameCube as, era. Yeah, yeah. He, worked that, previously, he wasn't the president or CEO yeah. at that time. He but. worked previously to that for 15 years for Nintendo, right? And then worked for them afterwards um, as president and COO. But yeah, I mean, so he, you know, he had Wii, and that mm -hmm. was huge. It was great. Mm -hmm. It was a huge hit. And then he had Wii U, which is a little bit of a bummer. And mm -hmm. now he's a Switch. So you know, I'll leave on a high note. He also had the 3DS. The 3DS true, is yeah, under his belt, true, so true. he only had one Man, miss really under his belt. Ass. Yeah, well, and that—that's how he came into the industry. The, the first time he was announced was he came on stage and he goes, "I'm uh, my name's Reggie, and I'm here to kick ass and take names, and we make games or something like that." But I mean, he, he wasn't wrong. That's that's exactly what they did. They killed yeah. it for a good period of time there. And um, aside from the Wii U, uh, they. They've done awesome, and Reggie has been probably one of the most beloved video game personalities as far as within the companies, you know, the major companies. Yeah, yeah like the big your, three, yeah. Right. Um, but it, 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 it's sad to see him go, but at the same time, the dude stepping in, his name's Bowser, which is... Last name is Bowser. Yeah, last name's Bowser. It, it's so ironic, you couldn't even make it up if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's great. Incredible. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where Nintendo goes, though, with all this. Yeah. I have faith. I think they'll have to continue. Oh, I yeah. think I think the Switch is going to be around for a very, 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 very long time. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I think so, too. I think they'll definitely... I think it's going to have a lifespan probably like similar 3DS. to, like, the 3DS. Yeah. Right? I bet no. it goes a good 10 years with about eight different iterations of it. <laughs> eight different kinds of it. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I think for sure that... Um, that it's in good hands, and yeah, it's totally weird. It's gonna be super, super, super weird not seeing him in directs yeah. or seeing him in, um, uh, you know, at E three. Yeah. He won't be there. 
Right. His last day is April, like what, 15th or something like that? Yeah, Mid-April. it said April 15th, yeah. Yeah. But uh, the Doug Bowser has already posted a picture up of him sitting at a table doing a Nintendo Labo with a stuffed Bowser Jr., which I found hysterical. It's just the little things like that yeah. that make Nintendo so kind of like a just a lovable company, you know, yes. and I, I think he's going to do great. I mean, he's coming from a marketing and sales background. I think he definitely knows what he's doing. And from what I understand, he's been mentoring under uh, Reggie for a while now. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah, he's definitely the one that was going to get the keys handed to him. Yeah. No pun intended. Keys of the kingdom. <laughs> The Mushroom Kingdom, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'll be cool to see what what they what they bring of it. I think having a marketing guy in there is going to help a lot with yeah. some stuff. Um, I think, I think for some of their items, they don't do enough marketing. Honestly, yeah. Nintendo like or their marketing is just off. super strange. Yeah, stuff. Um, at least Nintendo of America, I think. Like Labo, I mean, it was kind of here's the thing. I mean, I mean, aside from a couple commercials, you never really saw much. Right about it in stores, and it's like, dude, like, come on, you gotta, you know, do a little bit more than that. And some experiential marketing that they had, where like, it was like a booth or something in some malls on a weekend that you know right. you could try something out. It's like, come on, like, just push it. Tell me why I need this, you know, like, absolutely. Um, hey, big stuff. Yeah. Uh, in this podcast, um, so there's some rumors going on with Xbox, and uh, rumor has it that Xbox Game Pass is coming to Nintendo Switch. So that's the first part of this. So let's just discuss that first. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah, I, it, not not even from like a, a tech perspective because the streaming side of it. I mean, at that point, you can about play it on anything, right? But right. the fact that Nintendo seems to be playing nice enough to let Xbox put their service onto their console, possibly, possibly, possibly. right, right, uh, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, in rumor. Um, but if this is true, which I can see it being true. It, the the way things seem to be going and the way Microsoft almost seems to be pushing more towards being a service versus an actual console at this point. Yeah, being an ecosystem, like an right, ecosystem. Right, right. An ecosystem, yeah. Uh, and we'll actually end up getting into that here in a little bit. But mm-hmm. I, I think having it on Switch is such a perfect opportunity because they're already talking about bringing it to – uh, mobile devices, mobile phones, things like that. Now you have a little bit bigger screen with an, an attached controller to it yeah. that you can take with you. I mean, it's it's perfect. I, obviously, I wouldn't want to play certain games on it, but for the most part, well, a lot of your games you, would be fine. Do you think it's going to be um, just streaming right off the bat like that, or do you think it's going to be stuff where it's like – my thought is it's going to be Xbox Game Pass Switch Edition. Yeah. And it'll be a couple of the games that it can handle. Yeah. And then other games that, you know, it can't. No, I, I agree. Um, some of them that I've seen mentioned were uh, Ori in the Blind Forest and Cuphead, right. things like that. Things so the that, exclusives and stuff like that. Right. That otherwise couldn't go to other. Okay, interesting. That can yeah. combat with it. And are there people saying that too, of like what I'm saying, where it's just like maybe it would be less expensive per month because there wouldn't be like. You, you can't have a, um, like the next Halo on a Switch. Eventually, you could. I mean, yeah, if through streaming, streaming through well, right streaming, now, right. if they were to lock this thing down at, like, say, they announced this at E3, yeah, there's no way it's going to be in a streaming version yet. Um, I, I Surely. think it's going to be probably, uh, yeah, I, I think you're going to see more of your Cupheads and things like that, okay. things that that the Switch so like can actually play. like a light version of Game Pass. Then. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think they're going to go to the streaming aspect of it until they actually get to that part themselves. Because they, once they launch xCloud, I think that's when we would maybe start to see some, you know, like yeah. your, your Master Chief collection come over to the Switch. Like, can you imagine sitting there playing Halo 3 on your Switch? It's just, yeah, it's bizarre. It, it, it's so weird to think about because it's not something that, up until you know the the current uh, climate of of gaming is it, it makes sense now, mm-hmm. but you know f- two years ago, one year ago, even it, it wasn't even really a question. Um, so I, I think I think it's um, I think you're right. I think the streaming part of it will come later. I think the streaming part will probably come, I would say, about the same time as the next Xbox consoles launch. 
That would make more sense to me because I don't. Mm-hmm. We we've kind of talked about a soft launch for uh, the X Cloud, you know, on on pl- or uh, sorry, not wow, <laughs> almost said PlayStation, uh, on Xbox on the Xbox One, and just to see how it goes and see how it works and things like that. Mm. Um, but I think we're gonna see more of this really pushed once the next version of the xbox comes out i think we'll start to hear more about it i think they maybe will announce it at e3 but it might be a ways off still um because you know i think xbox is gonna go in and just absolutely murder it this year at e3 they they have pretty much the whole stage for the most part i mean you got you know like ubisoft and things like that but i think xbox without playstation there is going to be able to shine and if you can actually go off of like the Nintendo mm-hmm. and then right into Xbox and then show how they're going to be combined and things like that, I think that's going to be uh, something that would really, really put on a great show and really capitalize on the fact that PlayStation isn't going to be there this year. And then I think um, we're, well, also, we're definitely going to see. You only you only have to get one person out of the three right to screw over the third person. Right. So like you know we saw this them starting to work together when it came to Minecraft. Right. Um, yeah, and that's uh, that's kind of what we saw last week. Was it, yeah. it kind of came up, and we didn't put it in the show just because it it, really, it, it was, was so light. minor. At, it was so light at that time, and there wasn't that much. I don't know. Yeah, we there kind of like to wait for rumors to stick around for a little bit longer than yeah. immediately jumping on it. I'd right. rather be you know somewhat right than not right at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that makes yeah. any sense, I just I just don't want to. Report on something like immediately. Hey, we just saw this post on Reddit. Okay, well, it could be some this person, you know. Right. Um, another rumor is that uh, Xbox Lockhart and Anaconda will be revealed. Which those are two project names. Will be revealed at E3 2019, uh, and uh, Halo Infinite will be a launch title uh, for the new system. Uh, so Project Lockhart is supposedly a cheaper version um, of the next Xbox that does not have a disk drive mm-hmm. in it. Um, and Anaconda is supposed to be the more powerful version that does contain uh, a, a disk drive as well as better specs. So think Xbox One S and Xbox One X, except right. Xbox One S wouldn't have a drive. Yeah. Um, and interesting. That, this is all rumor still. Yes. I, I mean, this has I, been I, the rumor you, for forever about the Lockhart and the uh, um, Anaconda. So it, it, what we actually end up seeing is kind of still up in the air, but I, I think we will absolutely see the new consoles at E3 this year. Uh, there's not a doubt in my mind. Like full like full reveal or just kind of like Project Scorpio? Um, where it's like, and it shows corners of it and shit and smoke and stuff. I think we're going to see stuff. a full reveal because I think we're going to be um, – I don't know. The, the speculation right now is that they're actually going to release fall of next year fall of 2020 um whether that's true or not i don't know i i almost see xbox going earlier well i think xbox right now is scared as shit because well, yeah. sony is not going to be at e3 now and they're having their own well, here's the thing is when everyone's at e3 over the course of two days every company plays all their fucking cards yeah within a day of each other sometimes in the same fucking day so <clears throat> I feel like now looking at it, because you know, way back a couple podcasts, well, not a couple way back, more yeah. than a couple, like we're talking like in the twenties for episodes or whatever like that. We we're talking Is about it that long ago, dude. I think so. Oh man, of PlayStation oh. not you know not being at E three, right? And at that time we we're kind of like, this is fucking weird. What the heck? But then we also kind of saw a little bit of strat to it. But now it's like, okay, cool. Let Xbox play their hand. Let get people pipe like hyped up. And if they choose. To go for fall of 2020, what's to say PlayStation doesn't sit there and say, hey, guys, we're going to be fall of this year, holiday yeah. season this year. I, you know? th- I think the big thing here is if PlayStation announces their console at their new event that they're having, I can't I, – the name is escaping me right now. But yeah. the, the, the event that they are going to have is actually going to be before E3. Yeah. So I think what Xbox or what Microsoft does at E3 – hinges on what Sony does because they don't want to announce too early. That's the thing. But now Sony can hold shit though. You see what I'm saying? Right. Oh no, I understand. But what what I'm saying is that their big event that we're all expecting their next console to be announced at, or at least shown somewhat. If they don't go into full detail, I don't think Microsoft will. 
I don't think at E3 they will go mm. full out. I okay. think it'll be Microsoft is going to keep their their cards pretty close on this one. I think until they're a little bit further along and have a little bit more to go on. Um, and if if it's still as far away as you know fall of 2020, you still got a ways. So if you can. Yeah get people excited about it by just showing it just enough. Yeah. And then at next E3 come in and absolutely kill it the next year. Mm. I think that will be kind of more, um, I, I think that would be a better strategy personally. Yeah. So you think, um, you think, you think PlayStation, just to recap, you think PlayStation is going to say some shit, but they're not going to say all of it. And then well, that's going to cause Microsoft at E3 not to go full blown with mm-hmm. everything. In which case Sony might, play their cards first again after that or xbox so you think it's really down to who's ever move it is right because if, if yeah. playstation gives too much info right then microsoft's gonna have to match it and if yeah. they can hit their date and it's the same date then cool if they can't hit their date they're fucked but it seriously no but, yeah. then, but then if because sony's ahead right like let's not sony is almost double oh yeah the, absolutely you know the amount of consoles sold mm-hmm. so because because my thing is i think sony says not enough at that event like uh, like you know sounds about right right like leaves it hanging <laughs> okay yeah or alludes to it coming out at a certain date mm-hmm. and then microsoft decides that they're gonna do their date because they're feeling confident about it and they want to get more information and then sony comes and rips their fucking head off by saying that this is coming out earlier yeah but on the same token i i feel like I think Xbox is going to be reactive this go around because mm. I think they tried to lead on the Xbox. How can one. you be reactive though when you don't lead? Well, that's the thing. They have they have the the whole Switch deal going on right now. Yeah, that's true. So even if Sony gives just a little bit on, at their event, and then Xbox gives just a little bit at E3, they still have the the possibility of Game Pass coming to Switch and things like that. Hell, they could even go in there and announce that now they're selling a little Chromecast-looking thing that you hook into your TV, box, and now yeah. you can just play straight off of the Google Pass, Box. Yeah, right. Off the Google Box. Off the Google Box. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I think they are in a situation where no matter what Sony comes out with, they can come back in and completely blow it out of the water. Right. And even then, if they follow on the trend that they did last year, they still have another Xbox event. Maybe in Mexico again, and it's going to be really weird again. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but yeah. that is still see all thieves, see all thieves, <laughs> see everyone just chants whatever. That that's still an opportunity for Xbox to come out and sure, they'll say have Sony. More, right. They'll have more events like that. Absolutely, I think I think, my, I think Sony will do the same thing too. I think yeah. I think everyone's going to start having their own shit. Right, you know and mean? that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think I think PlayStation's going to give a glimpse shortly before E3. Right, Microsoft's going to give their glimpse and maybe throw in the hey Nintendo and. Game Pass yes. deal, you know, Works. right? Yeah. And then later on, Sony's going to have maybe another event or some sort of big announcement later in the year showing off more of their next console. And then you'll have Xbox follow in again after that and just try to one-up them. Because at this point, you can be reactive if what you're bringing to the table is stronger. Because the console's not out. So nobody's buying this console yet. It's not going to be available for pre-order or anything yet. Not until, you know, mid-next year probably. Right. Uh, so at that point, you're not losing sales. You just have to come in with bigger news. Dude, it's going to get so dirty. Oh, it's going to get so dirty. It's going to get so dirty. Terrible. Bro, there's and gonna it's going to be so much fun to watch, happens. though. It's yes. going to be so great. <laughs> it's going to be terrible, bro. The weird thing about this is I think... I thought for sure they announced that Halo was going to come or Halo Infinite was going to come to Xbox One. I thought for sure that was announced that it was going to come out before no, maybe the next will. generation. We don't know. Well, they said it's going to be a launch title on, well, supposedly to the rumor, it's going to be a launch title on on Xbox 2 or Yeah, but wasn't wasn't Lockhart like uh, wasn't Twilight Princess launch title? Are we Yeah, I I I don't I don't doubt that it will be on the Xbox One. I just thought it was going to be before well, the next be generation. Game Pass. Well, yeah. So, it, so I would think you could play it on Xbox One. No, I, yeah. you absolutely will. That's Xbox's big thing. Damn you got to have I the, hit the pop filter. Now it's your Just turn. Count that. one. Wow, not no, bad. I'm not saying that it's not going to be on Xbox One. I'm saying that the way they hinted at it, it was going to be out long before the next generation came out. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay, gotcha. I, yeah, it will 100% be able to be played on Xbox One and Xbox Two or whatever the hell they end up calling It's going it. to be called Xbox Two. Oh, God. Let's do our name bet. 
Let's do our slap bet. A name bet? Slap bet. Oh, boy. I'm saying Xbox 2. Yeah. And then Xbox 2 Plus. I don't know. Dude, I, I just wish they'd keep, like, Anaconda and Lockhart. Those are badass names. <laughs> This is my Xbox Anaconda. This is my Xbox Anaconda. My Anaconda don't want none <laughs> unless you got bones, hon. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy that um, that this is the way that console game go now. It's a little nuts, dude. Yeah, it, it's very strange, and I think... It's going to be a pain in the ass covering all this stuff. Because there's going to yeah, be like six There's not going to be events. a drought of news, though, I can tell you <laughs> that much. For the next, like, two years, we're going to have plenty of shit. Yeah. All of the time. And it's going to be petty PlayStation and Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Sony ever comes to the table or not? Because here's here's my theory on this Microsoft Nintendo shit. It's bullshit. Yeah, absolutely. It's absolute bullshit. Yeah. It's it's coming to the table looking friendly mm-hmm. so that one person looks like an asshole. And that's, that's fair. Sony. That's the whole point of it. I, I don't I know, I bet you dude. they didn't even go See, to Sony first I, with this stuff, dude. No, I, I guarantee they didn't. Because Nintendo mm-hmm. is... They do well, they lack but the technical they shit. are not. Yeah, they are not a, a true competitor in the same way. Whoa! As, the in the same way, crazy. in the same way as PlayStation, everybody fucking knows it. <laughs> 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 it, it is selling like crazy. The Switch is selling at record pace right now, but it's not the same thing. You're not buying no. a Switch to play the you know God of War or anything. The like highest that. caliber. It, it's game, a completely yeah. different ball game. You're it, buying it to play Mario Party, right? You're buying it to play Mario Party, Super Smash Bros. You're, Zelda, you're buying Mario, it in the hopes that like, they bring back Double Dash, which, by the way, is never coming back now. Yeah, because Reggie's gone. gone. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> he fucked us over. He's gone. He dipped. I maybe, think, maybe Double Dash, uh, you know, remaster was uh, his last thing yeah. before he left. See, oh my God. See, here's my thing. I think, yeah, the the Xbox and Nintendo stuff is kind of bullshit, but I think at the same time, I think. Microsoft might be trying to get away from consoles. No way. Yeah. Microsoft's just being a dick. Mm. No. no. Microsoft's trying Dude, to be the good guy. they don't even make guy. any money on consoles anyway, so what the fuck's well, the matter? Nobody makes money on consoles. Exactly. On That's why I'm saying if you go to all Because all it, street, it's it's a vehicle to enable to make more revenue upon game sales, so right. you have to give that. But if you can stream it to a yeah, box that doesn't not, have it. That's not right now. That's not right now. I'm not saying it is. I'm I know. Saying I, in we the know future. what their long game is. Well, yeah. I'm just saying the relationship building stuff with Nintendo, that's bullshit. That's some corporate bullshit. No. That's some corporate. Dude, Phil you Spencer's were putting... at, Phil Spencer's in the corner fucking praying, okay, with a water, all right? And then you've got, and then you've got, no, you're driving down fucking I-69 here in Indiana, okay? There's a fucking Honda Civic, okay, and a Honda Accord driving next to it. There's a green Honda Civic. There's a red Honda Accord, right? They're responsible. They just bought the fucking car, whatever. Then there's the lifted fucking truck, okay? That says PlayStation on the side of it, okay? And it's just smoking the shit out of both Hondas, right? Just just, just fucking plowing smoke behind them, and it pulls in front of them. And on the back, on the back of that PlayStation, okay, truck, on the back window <laughs> is that fucking Calvin and Hobbes sticker where he's pissing on the back of Nintendo and, 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 and Xbox logo. And that's what they've fucking done. They've made them look like they're fucking assholes because they're both sitting there going, look, we're getting friendly and working together. They're fucking not, dude. Microsoft is outsmarting Nintendo from a technical perspective. They're going to make all the money off of someone else's fucking console. They're still going to sell their consoles. They're going to work towards building to streaming because they know nobody can fucking handle streaming. Even 10 years from now, not everyone's going to have reliable internet. So they're still going to sell fucking consoles and then also a streaming service. Meanwhile, they're going to try to build this fucking little army together, this little friendship, and make PlayStation look like shit. Why and then would Nintendo start caring all of a sudden? Why? They don't. They don't. They still don't care. No, but that's the that's exactly. fucking problem. But that's why I'm saying they're just because... Yeah, it makes PlayStation look bad, which is fine. They've been yeah. doing that for a while but now. But Nintendo doesn't give a shit about that. It's no. Xbox that gives a shit about making exactly. PlayStation look bad. But at the but same time... they're using time, Nintendo. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's but fucked. What I, I know, but you're <laughs> saying they're, in, they're working together to do this. To purposely... No, 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 no. No, but here, this is what I'm I saying. Mean, they have to work together. Xbox is going to make a shitload of money yes. off of having off Game of Pass yes. on Nintendo. Off which, Nintendo. But it doesn't hurt Nintendo at all. In fact, it helps sell their consoles because now you can play the same games that on you the could go. play yeah. on, on now the it's go. Now Xbox on the go. So or they, Xbox just Lite. because they're working together doesn't mean it's all to make PlayStation look bad. I don't know, it man. is a portable console and a home console. And... One of the forerunners in the streaming industry yeah. right now, and 
So it's a smart move. Even if it is slightly malicious, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's matter. fucking malicious. It can be, but there's no reason it can't be no, a I, good thing, too. I'm not too. saying that they're not doing the whole thing because they want to fucking do it. Oh, I'm yeah. Saying, there's yes, definitely they some spite ma- in it, for they, sure. Key, I don't doubt that key, at all. Key takeaway, they want to make money. But they yeah. also want to make PlayStation look like a dick. Well, yeah, but you can do both and not have one exclusively. The way you said it to begin with made it sound like this is all just a malicious well, act, the, like when they, fuck when, PlayStation, dude, well, right? Well, okay, so the first fuck PlayStation, the first one that is a total malicious one is the cross-play stuff. Well, yeah. That was just to go yeah, fuck they don't, yourself. Yeah, That's they a don't, fucking, uh, fuck you, you know, right. jerk off and fucking whatever. <laughs> this one, again, yes, obviously they want to make money on it. And they are going brilliant. to make gangbusters if it happens, off of this, dude. If it happens, allegedly... <laughs> Yeah. Well, Cause yes, it would be like an exclusive like Xbox light weird gray area mobile fucking portable <laughs> console. It would be fucking weird. It's going to be weird. Yeah. But nonetheless, it's another <laughs> into fucking yeah. PlayStation. But space. at the same time, they don't have to have Nintendo because they are already talking about putting it on tablets. They're talking about putting right. it on phones. So all of that is already there. If Nintendo would have been like, no, we don't want any part of this. They would have been like, Okay, but yeah, there is a, a be spiteful deal, aspect bro. of it. There's gotta be some oh, sweet yeah. deal, like hey, yeah, every, they gotta be, every sign up you get like three dollars or four dollars. Yeah, or $5 they gotta be doing some sort of a split sweet, on the sign up as deal. long as they're playing on. Yeah, there, there's some sort of deal. Here's I don't know what the deal is. What does Sony either, do? What does Sony does Sony come out and say, hey guys, we're making a new PSP, or hey guys, we're making a cloud streaming service for our we're games? partnering with Google. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're partnering with the Ouya. The Ouya. Oh shit! <laughs> no, seriously, what do, what do they do? I don't know, man. I don't. I, this is the thing. The, the Mad thought. Console. The Ooh. Mad Console that we talked we're, about. We're spon. I can see it now. We're sponsoring. Dude, with I don't Soldier think PlayStation Boy. cares. We're sponsoring with Soldier Boy to create the world's first Play- portable streaming console. PlayStation is walking around like they have the biggest cock right now. They don't care. Yo, but it doesn't. Here's the problem. It's going to come back to yeah. bite them in the ass. Oh, sure, because you're not looking at anyone else's cocks. No. And everyone else's cocks are growing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> everyone else's cocks are growing. This has gotten out of hand so and quickly. And PlayStation is not looking around the locker room, bro. Yeah. PlayStation's walking around like he's a fucking horse, bro. He's got yeah. horse cock. Just because he hit puberty first doesn't mean he's the only one that's hit it. No, man. Everybody else is sprouting no. right up right now. No, dude. <laughs> Absolutely not. Xbox is going to throw its cock on the table. This is an awful, awful analogy. No, it's the right one. I hate it. It's the right one. Oh, it doesn't mean I Right now, Xbox and Nintendo are touching cocks, and they'll put their cocks together to make the longest cock in existence, and that (laughs) cock will beat out PlayStation. (laughs) That's how this is going to happen. Oh, oh no. (laughs) That's how this works. I'm going to cut this into a snippet, and it's going on Instagram. (laughs) That's business, Brody. Yeah, absolutely. If you can't beat them by yourself, get somebody else who can help. Join Cox. Join Cox. It's like space docking. Oh, you took Oh, it. that's where it took it no, too you, far. Absolutely. You took <laughs> okay. it too far. All right. Oh, my goodness. Uh, how else are you going to join Cox, Jeff? Just tape it. Cloud, <laughs> cloud technology. <laughs> cloud technology. Fucking cloud tape. Here, you want 2019 in a fucking nutshell? You ready? Cannabis, 5G. That's it. Cloud sharing, streaming, streaming 5G cannabis. There you go. That Holy list fuck. went from that's it to two more things added. New, new, newest, newest, newest item for on Xbox's list. Now you can stream through 5G cloud services your marijuana to your Xbox. That's the next fucking big thing. That 2018. Okay. Do you want All 2018? Right. Yeah, ones? sure. Yeah, we can just stream the weed last, now. The last three. Fantastic. Yeah. It just pops out of your how, disk drive. How the hell is it? <laughs> Just a nug of your weed comes out of your oh my drive. Uh, you know what they need to do for a Switch? They need to make a better fucking Switch. Yeah. I was thinking about this this weekend. I like my Nintendo Switch. I'm a big fan of it. Mm-hmm. But fuck, I want them to build one that's got I don't, a better build quality. I don't want to buy another one again now, though. It, Would you buy one if it's better quality? Well, I f- yeah, I'm going to fucking could you, buy it could if Could you it's imagine better. a Nintendo Switch with the same build quality as like a PSP? Yeah. Or, or even I just want one up an iPhone. I just, I just want it to have a little bit more power so it can actually play a little bit. Better I don't even shit. give a shit about that. I want a bigger screen. I fucking hate bezels. Yeah. Why do we have the bezels them? suck? Why do we even have products now with bezels? I don't know. It's ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of that, the new Samsung phone's weird too. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that. There's a whole that. fucking hole in your phone. Yeah, we that's talked the, about that. That's how you don't do a screen. <laughs> that's where that's where a little top bezel actually is okay. Yeah, just, but yeah, just I mean, a why? One. Why such a big bezel on it? 
like why build it out of like the cheapy plastic and stuff like that? Like do some sick, I don't know. Do some metal yeah, or something. Some of the design some aluminum. Oh, damn! Ooh. Some aluminum Ooh. on the back of that bitch. Woo, woo! I think they, if I remember right, they cut a lot of cost because the uh, that's expensive. The yeah, the the processors. Yeah, but make me a deluxe version. Was, make me a cool version. Yeah, that. Yeah, but at the time this came out was when uh, Bitcoin mining was through the roof, right? So that's why the the processors were so damn expensive, and they had to cut costs. Is that really remember, why? Yeah, I remember reading about that. Because, Are you serious? Yeah, they had to cut costs because they were losing way too damn Fuck much you, on Bitcoin. It. Yeah, we could have got a better well, Nintendo Switch. Well, and that's Switch. why it's cheaper right now to buy a built. PC, a built gaming PC, than to build one because buying the processor by itself is absolutely astronomical. Is it still like that? It's coming this down. This shit's crashed. It's coming down, but it's yeah. still kind of crazy. It's it's still the rep or the repercussions from it is still there because now all of these these companies think they can just charge whatever the fuck they want, uh, and people are like, bitch. yeah. So now they set that bar and they don't want to uh, come down from it, even though they should. Yeah, because they were making money hand over fist. Yep. For a while. Look at you, AMD. Yeah. Damn. Well, shit. It's, um, yeah. Shit's fucked up, man. <laughs> wow. So, hey, I guess uh, E3's going to be a big dick competition. That's what we gathered from this podcast. Yeah. It so, got real weird. It can get weird. It, it That's got life, man. Hey, uh, today's <laughs> podcast was brought to you by Audible. You can get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial <laughs> by heading over to audibletrial.com slash diggity. That's D-I-G-G-I-T-Y. You get access to over 180,000 chat. Holy. Whoa. 180,000 titles. Sorry. To choose from for your iPhone, Android, <laughs> Kindle, or MP3 player. Hey, maybe it'll come to a Switch one day. Who knows? Holy crap. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Diggity Podcast. Subscribe to us on YouTube, Diggity Gaming. Um, hey. It takes time and money to make this podcast. Head on over to Patreon, patreon.com slash diggity. Hit us up, bros. Link is in the description below, both on YouTube and also on audio podcast. We greatly appreciate it. You know, dog, we're trying to be part of our own big dick competition here, too. I don't like Not how really. you're staring into my eyes. I'm staring into your eyes. It's weird. It's okay. Okay. Uh, hey, find me on Xbox. Maple Jeff is my gamer tag. Brody, yours is what? Luscious Brody. Heck yeah, it is. Uh, leave us a review. Uh, on the audio podcast, you can do this on iTunes or wherever you listen to, Spotify or rating, something like that. Helps us expose ourselves and our big dick to the rest of the world uh, on the podio ca- <laughs> on the podcast. Woo! Man. Yeah, Woo! <laughs> fire me up. Uh, also does uh, two things for us too. Gives us feedback as well when you leave a comment, whether it's on YouTube or for the audio podcast on a hosting site, and allows us to make the show better, my dudes. So that's it. Um, just remember, kids, it's all about who has the biggest dick in the room. <laughs> Size matters. (laughs) We'll see you for the Thursday show. See ya.